Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J. And I'm back with another video. Today is, I'm trying to get the camera right for y'all, okay? Today is Saturday, my babies, the same day as the previous content video. I hope all is well with you all. All is well with me. And I hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness, peace, and love. And I hope we all are continuing to stay determined, motivated, and focused. And I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us. So in today's video, my babies, I'm going to be giving you all another bath time talk. And I know I haven't given you all a bath time talk in like, what, two weeks? Comment down below how long has it been since I gave y'all a bath time talk. I think it was two weeks. Let me know if I'm spot on. Um, but yeah, I just decided to give you all another bath time talk today. You're going to be seeing this on Monday. And, you know, this bath time talk is very serious. So brace yourselves and get ready for what the queen is about to say, okay? So today, you already know because you clicked on the video, so let me just do my talk and then we're going to get into it, okay? So in today's bath time talk, we're going to be discussing why you should always forgive your abuser. And I know this is going to be a really tough topic for some of you, um, but we have to talk about things and we have to find the solution to things, right? And we have to get to the conclusion of things. So, you know, because we don't want to live a life of chaos and dysfunction and, you know, repeating generational curses down to our offsprings and stuff like that. No, we don't want to live with that negativity BS, negativity BS and drama following us and stuff like that and all up in our energy. And we don't know how to get ourselves up out that energy, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what you need to do um, and why you need to forgive your, why you should always forgive your abuser. So let's start off firstly by saying, um, I'm not, I'm not just discussing any any uh, abuse in particular. You know, I am talking about all of the abuse. Um, any, I'm, I'm, I'm discussing any abuse that you have ever experienced in your life, emotional, mental, financial, spiritually, um, sexually, right? And I don't care at what age did any of this abuse occur, you can use these tools and this advice um, to, to, you know, boss up in your life, right? And to improve your life and to um, literally just become a better person and stuff like that, right? So why you should forgive your abuser, why you should always forgive your abuser is because when people who are mentally ill decide to hurt another human being, um, there is literally something wrong with their mind and there is something wrong with their heart, which means that they are a lost soul. Okay, let's start there. Um, so therefore, they do not... Um, live a life the way we live our lives, you know, about happiness, peace, and love, and good vibes, and good energies, and actually uplifting one another, and being there for others, and, you know, spreading peace and love. They don't live their lives like that. They live their lives in complete chaos and complete di dysfunction, looking out for praise that they can, um, looking out for praise that they can that they can um, attack, right, and use and abuse and, you know, manipulate and abuse you, right? So when it comes down to, okay, why should I forgive somebody who abused me, you know? You know, shouldn't they be the one seeking help? Understand that we all have, we all have the day of judgment that we are going to seek when it is our time of death. And when it is our time to meet with the Lord, okay? And we all will um, reap. We will. We all will reap the consequences that we ask for in this during this life on the physical on the physical on the physical world. You know, so you don't need to actually worry about them. You know, becoming a better person and you know getting justice and getting healing and therapy and all that stuff. Don't worry about them. I'm telling you that. Why you should always forgive your abuser is because you don't want, first of all, what a, what a predator and an abuser wants 
to take from you is your power. And what they want to place on you, what they want to replace with that power, they want to take your power and they want to replace that power, your power that you, you own, that is your divine right. Um, they want to actually place blame and self-blame and hatred and, you know, guilt and shame on you, you know? And although those, they, they, although, although those feelings may be the uh, initial feelings that you feel when you are um, abused in any way that we've discussed in the beginning of this video. Um, once those beginning feelings surpass, you now should be working on getting rid of those feelings. You need to know that it was not your fault that somebody abused you and took advantage of you and hurt you. Okay. And, you know, you know, um, put, you know, you know, um, took you through this traumatic event and now you're dealing with the pain and the hurt and the insecurities and the and the, the trauma the, the hurt the um the the guilt the shame you know and the blame you you want to understand that they have that those issues within themselves you know and they already have all that baggage you know what I mean so by them abusing you what they were trying to do was take all of that attention and all that negative um, energy and stuff that they feel for themselves and their life and they want to place it on you that's why they abuse you because not only are they sick and they need help but because they want to actually take your power from you and they want to replace your power with that blame and that guilt and that shame but I just want you to know like you have to forgive them you have and when you are healing from any type of abuse, the first thing is to first go through the grieving process. Go through those hurt feelings, the pain, the trauma. Go through everything. Cry, weep. You know, go through everything that you need to go through. And then the next step is to forgive them. Pray and forgive them. Meditate. Do yoga. Work out. Run. And, and you know, say it out loud. I forgive such and such for what you did to me. You know, because at that point in time that you forgive someone wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, don't worry about the consequences that they need to seek and the justice that you need to seek. Understand that once you forgive someone for abusing you in any way, any type of abuse, you are now taking back your power. Because once you forgive someone wholeheartedly, you are now, you are no longer feeling blame, guilt, Shame. You understand that this person is literally sick. You know, they are sick mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They are sick and they, yes, they do need help. We know that. Anybody who seeks out to hurt someone else for no apparent reason, just because they want to, they need help. Okay? They don't, they don't, they not only need help from the Lord, but they need help in all, in all ways possible. They need help. Okay? But you have to understand that it is not your job. It's not your job to worry about the consequences that they are gonna that they are gonna sow, you know, and that's gonna come to them within their lives and you know all that kind of not. That's not your job. Please forgive any abuser who has abused you, my baby, because then you take back your power. You know what I mean? And you don't never want someone, regardless of what happened in your life, you don't never want somebody to suck you dry of your power because that is that is divinely yours. That is your right as a human being. We all have a power. And us being ourselves and being real and authentic and just being ourselves wholeheartedly inside and out from what we speak, how we dress, how we feel, you know, what we wear, who we want to be, who we know who we are inside of our souls. That is all about power. And you don't let somebody take that power from you. You work on loving yourself, building yourself back up. Forgive, forgive anybody, whoever hurts you, you know? And this is how I literally live my life of happiness, peace, and love, and staying determined, determined, determined motivated, and focused, and walking the alignment stars that Allah has for me. Listen to those words. Say, speak those words into your life. Listen to them as you are speaking them. Believe them. Know that it is a fact. You are speaking good energy, positive vibes, and good shoppers into your life, and your soul, and your being, and you need that. You don't want anybody to take your power from you, my babies. Please hear me. This is very important. And I know this is this may be the hardest thing you have ever had to do in your life is to forgive someone who maliciously and, and purposely, actually, literally set out to hurt you. Okay, I know it was it was hard for me. Y'all know that I do have a content video where I discuss 
you know, when I was actually touched as a child inappropriately by people that I know, okay? And also how, um, it, the, the video is called, um, I was touched as a child and, and being, and raped being a hoe. But don't just judge that constant video off of the title, you know? Um, actually click that video and listen to my story. You know, I did, I didn't speak every detail in that content video and I made it really brief and short. But in this video, the, the way I, I can relate to y'all is because my babies, I am someone who has been emotionally abused, mentally abused, physically abused. And you know, the, 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 I have built myself up to where I am today, you know? I was sexually abused. At, actually, I never even spoke this detail on, the, on that video that I told you to watch. But I'm gonna speak it today because no abuser is gonna have power on me. I no longer feel blame, guilt, and shame over the things that has happened to me because it, it was not my fault. You know, I said no. I, I, I was trying to push the person off, you know, and they overpowered me. They didn't care what I was speaking about. They just wanted to have that power over me and abuse me because people like that are mentally sick. They are spiritually sick. They do not have the capacity to live abundantly the way we all live, about happiness, peace, and love, determined, motivated, and focused. Uh, walking in the alignment of stars that Allah has, they don't have the capacity of that. So what they do, they become predators and they prey on, on, on people on people who they see vulnerable, on people who they see as weak and incapable, on people that they just want to hurt because their brain tells them one day, I'm going to hurt this person because that's what I want to do. You know, I was actually raped on my 17th birthday and, you know, it really sucks that I had to go through that and this is somebody that I knew, somebody that I was dealing with for a long time, I trusted, and, you know, we, we literally had a great intimate relationship, obviously, at those young ages, 17. But when that event occurred in my life, I went through so many emotions, right? And ultimately, I ended up depressed. And I had to get myself up out of that depression because the feelings that I was feeling was shame for what happened to me. I was feeling guilt, you know, for even having myself in that situation and environment. I was feeling, I was feeling really bad. I was feeling shame, guilt. I was blaming myself for what had occurred to me. But one, you know, but now today, as a grown woman, 25 years old, a single strong super mom of one, it's, it wasn't my fault. It's not your fault, my babies. And you know, I can get emotional right now because there's so many women like me, young women, middle-aged women, and even older women and elderly who will go through um, so much abuse in their lives before they finally forgive themselves and forgive their perpetrators and the abuser and start to literally live an abundant life i just want you to know that it's not your fault you deserve unconditional love you deserve to love yourself unconditionally and be kind to yourself and you know build yourself up and have an abundant life you know and have a beautiful heart and just live a beautiful life because you are a beautiful soul and you deserve much you deserve much more and I want you to start acquiring of that. Start setting your standards and setting the bar for yourself. So when you allow people in your life, they know that you are not the one to play with. You are not the one that is going to be used, abused, and manipulated. And you are not gonna tolerate anything less of what you deserve because you are a queen. You are a king. And this is not just for the ladies because there's many guys who have been abused as well. There's women who take advantage of guys and um, they will, these guys will, they, they will grow up, right? And be emotionally, mentally, sexually, physically, and spiritually, financially. They will be period of view at, at some point in their life. So they will grow up and they will just be so emotional, right? And so giving because of what they have gone through. But, the, but it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to be manipulated by people uh, to, to seek love. Love doesn't hurt. Okay, love does not cause you any pain. Love is not a deceiver. Love is not um, untrustworthy, unloyal. Love is not, love is not uncaring. 
and, and, and unkind. You know, love is all of the positive things that we know love should bring and should be in our lives. I love you all so much, my babies. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love.